Hello again, guys. On today's video, we're going to give you the chance to find out if you have what it takes to be a defender of the blockchain. That's right. We'll be giving you a general overview on how the ecosystem works, plus show you the best places to team up with the project developers and other members of the community. And we'll show you how to protect not just the blockchain, but also those gains that you've been fighting for lately. So if you think you have what it takes, then come with us as we set another quest to find those meta millions. Today we're talking about Chain Guardians and it's a play to earn metaverse platform that's vision is to enable mass adoption of blockchain gaming through creative, innovative, immersive and imaginative new cross chain gaming experiences. Through dedicated partnerships with other ambitious projects, they hope to build an experience that's always evolving to meet players expectations. Yeah, Chain Guardians are collectible NFT heroes that you can purchase to form a team and battle it out against enemies and other players in fun play to earn games. You can play for free, play for profit, or just play for fun. Now, despite which blockchain they guard, in-game, all Chain Guardians are ERC721 tokens on the Ethereum network. The Guardians are on the platform itself. They are sold out, but you can get the NFTs on OpenSea for a reasonable price if you are interested. The art's pretty cool, and aside from different attributes that will help with the PvE and PvP battles, each Guardian also has a hash rate that's associated with the character's mining capabilities. There are currently two ways being developed to play and earn tokens that make up the heart of the Chain Guardians ecosystem. There's a role-playing game that's in beta testing phase and an NFT mining platform. The RPG offers a campaign, PvP battles, and boss raids. Just take note that while in beta, the RPG rewards are disabled until further testing is finished. Role-playing sounds like your favorite activity. Wow. <laughs> the mining platform, however, is fully operational. With Chain Guardian's proof of stake protocol, players can stake their Guardian NFTs and earn rewards in the platform's official in game currency, CGC. Higher hash rates make for more profitable mining. You can purchase Guardians on secondary markets, or you can grind in the RPG game and collect lieutenants. So you can fuse these lieutenants within the game's interface to raise the hash rate and successfully create a worthwhile bunch of Guardians to mine for you. Now, they've put together some nice visual points of reference on their main page and there's also some more in-depth tutorials on staking in the discord channel if that's something you'd like to investigate further now the stake pools can only be ran by players that possess a captain devex adazer nft all other nfts can be staked within these pools though chain guardians also have plans to add cross-chain interoperability within their staking protocol making it possible to bring nfts from other projects onto the platform and earn cgc rewards the hash rate will be determined by nft rarity and other factors determined by Chain Guardians partnering projects. So I spent a little time in the RPG game and it was pretty simple but still fun and could be addicting for sure. My main take was that it worked well and was easy to interact with. It's not as engaging of a game experience as some players may like, but it's still just in beta and the team does have plans to add to the game as well as add more games in the future. So keep on the lookout for those updates down the road. Yep, and speaking of the future guys, if you want to be the first to catch these projects as we throw them out to you, then take a moment hit that notification bell. And if you enjoy what we're providing, then please smash the like button and subscribe. It really helps us out. Love it. And don't forget to leave us a comment too. Let us know how we're doing and what you would like to see covered on future episodes of Meta Money. All right, let's talk about the community a little let's, bit. Let's go. Chain Guardians have been working on their brand and growing their following since 2019. And in the past year, they've seen tremendous growth throughout their community. Chain Guardians understands that the community is the heartbeat of the ecosystem, as we know as well. Mm -hmm. And without it, the project would not exist. You can find the latest updates on development over there on their official Twitter page, where they have almost 80,000 followers and are adding more every single day. Impressive. Now, the team's very active in the Discord channel, too. There's even a thread called Meet the Team with some photos, even a little humor at the expense of the developers, but it's all in good fun, of course. Now, one thing I noticed about the team is they really stood out is that they have actual photos on the page with their actual name, something you don't really see very often. Sometimes you just see an avatar or a Discord name. Now, the transparency helps the community to put their trust behind the team and project. There's also a great video on YouTube by the CEO of Chain Guardians, Ben Alquist. 
that really goes into detail about how their ecosystem is put together. It's informative, but also it's nice to see the enthusiasm from the team getting involved with the community across different social media platforms. The Telegram channel was quite large too, with over 30,000 members if you want to get involved there. Yep, always make sure that you're checking the trusted official links thread in the Chain Guardians Discord for all the best links pertaining to their social platforms, staking support, official contract addresses, and the official NFT collections on OpenSea and Refinable. Now, we'll try to include some of those down below just to save you a little time. All right, let's talk profitability, That's baby. That's what we're here for. All right, we went over briefly already what you can stake the NFTs and mine Chain Guardians in-game token CGC, but there is another token associated with Chain Guardians that is used for governance called CGC. CGG. Currently, CGG is only acquirable by purchasing on an exchange. KuCoin and Gate.io offer the coin for a couple different pairings, and you can also find liquidity on Uniswap and PancakeSwap if you're looking to acquire the coin on the decentralized exchange. Yep, we want to point out too that at this time, you can only earn CGC as an in-game reward to use as currency to purchase Guardian NFTs and other digital assets. In the future, the team plans to add the ability to exchange CGC for CGG, and that you can find that on an exchange too in the future. So you can purchase and stake the token CGC in separate stake pools from Guardian NFTs to earn even more rewards. There's a little bit of depth to the process, so we'll leave a link below that further breaks it down so you can really understand how it works. And it will give you the steps required to acquire and stake it yourself. Nice, now holding the CGG token will give players the ability to make decisions to the updates and changes that come to the Chain Guardians platform. Now, this really is a common theme in a lot of play to earn space. It helps fulfill the decentralized vision of the blockchain gaming by giving the players the power to incorporate real change throughout the game ecosystem and more. Definitely love seeing the community get involved. Yep. CGG has a max supply of 120 million coins and about a third of those are in circulation. Right now the coin is hovering close to 40 cents, down considerably most coin, like most coins at the moment. It's an ultra small cap project with the market cap barely touching $20 million. At one point, CDG reached an all-time high of over $4 about a year ago, but has been unable to reclaim those levels since. Hopefully, with new games and partnerships this year, they can begin to gain some real traction again. Yep, the team, community, and vision are strong, but we hope to see some more content soon and way to swap your CGC to CGG to make that easier to earn. There are so many of these projects coming out that you have to be diligent with your research before going in heavy or treating it as a major investment. For sure, the first goal should be to find a fun game that you enjoy because most of these projects are speculative and it's going to be hard to stand out in the long term with so many jumping into the space with new creative ways for players to earn. Mm -hmm. Now, only the best and brightest will shine through in the end, so pick wisely. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found something in there useful we sure did ourselves. Yeah. If you are looking at any other platforms or small metaverse play to earn projects, drop a comment below and we'll definitely squeeze them into our production schedule. All right, guys, thanks for spending some time with us today. As always, please remember, these are just our opinions and not financial advice. So do your own research and we'll see you next time on MetaMoney.